tracks.
we are currently back home. Let's start this full day of eating. We're gonna change it up a little bit more today. We're gonna do uh, two servings, well, two packs of oatmeal, um, the sugar-free ones, and a whole scoop of protein. I throw a little bit of nuts in there. I'm gonna throw some banana in there as well. And we got a whole egg with about 250 grams of egg whites, three pieces of Canadian bacon, yeah, I wasn't craving pancakes today, so I was like, eh, let's do some oats with some protein on it. Get a good source of carbs uh, and get a good amount of protein. I think this meal is around, let's say, 50 to 60 uh, grams of protein. I'm not going to have a lot of volume today. I'm craving In-N-Out or Chick-fil-A, so I may eat that later on. Hmm. Jeez. Do the Canadian bacon. Mm. Let's continue our day. Damn, look at that hair though. My hair is long already. I need a haircut. We're in the streets already. It's currently 11 already. And um, quick little pit stop. Starbucks. I'll show you my order right now. You already know, but there's a second coffee of the day. Remember, I always drink a coffee at 5 a.m. Then I drink another coffee like around 11 or 12. Sometimes it could be 5 p.m. Uh, you know, it changes. <laughs> but that's the only caffeine I have throughout my day. Before, I used to have a lot of caffeine throughout my day. I remember I used to wake up, go to the gym, drink a scoop of pre-workout, get home, eat breakfast, um, drink a coffee then I will start my day whatever drink another coffee throughout like throughout the day maybe like around 3 sometimes I would also drink a uh, Red Bull the low calorie one zero sugar and that was pretty much four drinks with caffeine two coffees a scooper pre-workout and a Red Bull throughout the day I was maybe like around 600 to 700 milligrams of caffeine and from what I've heard of, uh, your body could only take a thousand milligrams a day. I have never surpassed that. Hopefully I never did, because when I used to drink a lot, like on Saturdays, I used to drink like five Red Bulls in one night. And I think I did. I think I did surpass it, but fuck it. Brown sugar, oat milk, shake and espresso. Doesn't focus, focus. Too much sun in the background. But this is my go-to all the time. It's pretty much just oat milk with cinnamon and espresso. Um, funny thing, like we have about four Starbucks in Compton, right? And the closest one to me is maybe like five minutes, but I drive to the one that's like about 10 minutes from me because that's the best one in Compton. The other three locations in Compton suck motherfucking bitch ass fucking ass. To be honest, every time I go to any other location, that shit tastes like motherfucking booty. So... I always drive. It's worth the fucking drive. I ain't about to pay five bucks for my motherfucking order to be fucking fucked up. Best believe that. But yeah, let's continue this video. Sheesh. Damn, I burned my motherfucking bread. There's one of the weird, weirdest things you will ever see. Peanut butter, ham, sandwich. Here's the ham, some peanut butter down there. I love this shit like this. No. Look at the thumb. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Next meal of the day is gonna be some chicken, white rice, some greens right here, spinach, kale. We're gonna use some hummus, chicken rice, and veggies or greens or whatever. Mm. I also put some tapatio sauce right there. That sandwich I ate a while ago, it's not like super nutritious, so I don't recommend you eating it. That was just a craving that I had. 
I saw peanut butter, I saw ham, I saw bread, I was like, fuck it. It's busting. My um, face butts are kind of weird. 242. I'm currently at my uh, dad's shop at the moment. Just came for a day. Pay a little visit. I made this meal and continue my day. Cause chicken is life. All right, so it's been quite a while since I ate my last meal. I know my last meal, I ate it around 2.47. It's already 6.44, so I got a little bar um, right now. I just finished training the kids right now. So I got this on optimum nutrition protein waffers. These things are fucking good. If you want a really good tasting protein bar, it's gonna be this one. This is one of my favorite ones so far. Uh, this one's 200 calories. Uh, the protein is 15 grams. The fats are nine grams, a little bit higher than other bars. And the carbs are pretty low, 14 grams of carbs. And I'm gonna also do this yogurt right here. 70 calories. I think this is around, I don't know the carbs on this one. Five grams of protein. I think the carbs are around 10 on this one. So I'm gonna eat these two right here and um, go to the other gym right now, go home, get another meal in. Last meal for the day is gonna be, again, some chicken. You see that right there? Chicken, same thing, spinach and kale. Two tortillas, two of the low carb tortillas from Trader Joe's. These tortillas are so freaking good. It's like nine carbs per tortilla, so I'm not gonna have like a whole bunch of carbs for this one. Only those two tortillas, that's gonna be it. Some chipotle sauce I took from my nephew. He wanted chipotle and he doesn't like the red sauce. So I was like, just get on the side and I'll eat it. I'm also gonna add this uh, Trader Joe's creamy garlic cucumber dip. This thing is so freaking good. Uh, the macros aren't that bad. A serving is 30 calories, two tablespoons, two grams of fat, two grams of carbs. Not bad at all. But this is gonna be the last meal. It's already uh 8:35. so i'm gonna end this video right here if you guys if you guys like this content comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one you know that sandwich i'll be honest it wasn't the best thing ever to eat but i was craving it and i was like fuck it i'll eat it you know my four days of eating is just like all over the place. I don't have like a structured day of eating. Back in the days, you know, I used to track everything and plan everything be beforehand. Now I just like wing it. Um, I should be tracking most of the stuff, which I'm gonna start doing. It's my fault because I don't meal prep. I ain't gonna blame anybody else. And most of the time, you know, people say that they have this perfect diet. Come on, you know, everybody fucks up. But for social media, people always say everything's perfect. But you know, you gotta wing it, eat, you know, try to eat the most you can. Um, don't overeat either. Alright, so if you guys like this content, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.